Dakshinachar path, for lack of better words, is the Satvik path. Right? The simpler. It is not as who says uh, Tantra is Tamasic path and, uh, the, and uh, the Dakshinachara is a Satvik path. Who, is, uh, who judges that and who has made it? What? There are three, right? There is Dakshinachar, Vamachar, Kolachar. Uh, it is not a separate category, Vamachara. Uh, there is Samachara which extinguished, which died down in Kali Yuga. Samachara no more exists. Now, whatever people are doing this inner Kriya, you know, inner. Uh, uh, like the Kriya Yoga, they call that as Samachara. But that is not Samachara. Samachara had uh, different uh, Sri Vidya texts and uh, different gurus for that. These are all pathways to the ultimate. Yes, but in Kali Yuga, the king of all pa- emperor of all paths is Kaulachara. I mean, okay. Because the Vedic man- mantras, they become important, they lose their uh, power in as Kali Yuga advances. That's why you see in Gayatri Mantra Purasharana, people have to do four times, five times, six times to get Mantra Siddhi. Even in spite of that, they're not able to get. And the Gayatri Mantra that people are chanting is not actual Gayatri. They're chanting Savitri Gayatri. The real Gayatri Mantra is a different Gayatri Mantra. That is called as Yoga Gayatri. The original Gayatri Mantra has disappeared in Kali Yuga. No one is chanting the original uh, Yoga Gayatri Mantra. They're all chanting Savitri Gayatri Mantra. But there's no benefits of chanting the Savitri Gayatri Mantra? No, I didn't. I did not say there's no benefits. But I'm saying that the original Mantra has disappeared for some reason. Okay. Can we try understanding this Dakshinachar, Vamachar, Kolachar path a little more? Yeah, Dakshinachara is you. You are worshipping uh, goddess in an idol or in a yantra. That is a simple thing. Then in Vamachara, you are going to the extreme. You are worshipping the goddess in the Shava, corpse. If, if a Sri Vidya Sadaka is a great Mahapurush, he is able to invoke the Sri Chakra in a dead body, in a dead woman, who is free from all injuries and everything. And is able to energize and do prana pratishta till he is doing the sadhana, sitting on top of the dead body. And then you have the Kaulachara where you, uh, they fall, they use Panchamakras and they use uh, Kula Dravyas, Maha Kula Dravyas. What I won't that? mention all that because... Uh, but what is it? Uh, no, they, are, they are one step above that. They are offerings, the secret inner offerings to the goddess, which pleases the goddess. Okay. Uh, how do you know which is the right path for yourself? Do you first begin on Dakshinachar? No, you, you can't change paths. You can't decide. You you come to a guru uh, and and you meet a, the destined guru. Then the guru, if he's the Dakshinachara, you follow Dakshina Marga. If he's a Kaulachara, you follow Kaulachara. If he's a Vedic path, you become follow the Vedic path. And you can't change the paths in in between. It is it is prohibited. Okay. They go to hell for that. Okay. Ah. Uh-huh. But a Kaulachara can do Dakshinachara practice. He can do puja to a, a idol, to a yantra. He can offer fruits. He can offer vegetables. Fair to say that in India, mostly it's Dakshinachara right now. No, many people are doing the Kaulachara, but uh, don't ask me the spiritual caliber of the Kaula Gurus. But there are, there are many people who are doing it in secrecy and some openly. Okay. Are you comfortable sharing what path you are on? I have I have declared on the social. I follow. I am a Kaulacharya. Okay, because your guru lineage is related to Kaulacharya. Yeah, I got into the path because uh, and it's like you. I took the dip into the ocean and I took further steps and I went into the ocean. So I can't when I'm in the ocean. I can't say uh, the ocean is bad. Did you find any aspect of your journey difficult? As Swami Sharada Nanda. One of the direct disciples of Amkrishna Pramsa, he writes in the book now, uh, he says even for Avatara Purushas, when they descend to earth, when they do sadhana, when they are in their human body, they have the same, uh, they face the same problems as any ordinary human being. But they have that extra strength, extra motivation to go forward. So, you know, everyone faces problems. Without problems or difficulties, you never, uh, you will never progress in uh, spiritual life or in worldly life. Okay. How many years has it been since you began Kolachara practices in your human form? I would rather say Sri Vidya. See, because there's a lot of negative labeling. Our Indian society is very... Uh, judgment. Very good in... Uh, yeah, judgment and very good in giving labels. And those labels, they stick for a long time. Even the Divine Mother cannot unglue them. So, I have completed two mandalas. One mandala is equals 12 years. So, two mandalas are completed. More than 24 years. I'm nearly, I'm going to complete 24 years. Damn. Mm. 
do you have a human family and everything like do you have kids of your own no i told no i don't want to become subject of the conversation yes i i i go to i, I do gymming that is my passion i do i do other practices i have got my personal responsibilities uh, family is there uh, but the, there's a there's always a uh, looming background of uh, of my spiritual side so whatever i do i uh, see like when i'm gymming sometimes i'm chanting the namatraya mantra namatraya mantra is what uh, parshurama uh, muni has told that it is a cure for all uh, great diseases mahavyadi vinasha destroy of great diseases so i feel tired then i chant that mantra so okay. you know you integrate your life so much so that you can't distinguish between the material side or spiritual side as swami brahmananda is a manasa putra ramkrishna pramsa somebody asked him so he normally should talk in bengali he knew english very well at that uh, at, in, uh, at that point of time he spoke in he said he saying he, he drew a line and s- said where is the boundary between material life and spiritual life so you should uh, be able to integrate everything okay but that is not a excuse uh, not to do your meditation in isolation or seclusion and just to say i'll go out with friends and i'll think of divine mother that is not an excuse to uh, not do your sadhana not to indulge your sense organs that is not an excuse If you enjoyed today's clip, make sure you check out these curated playlists that we've made especially for you related to the subject that was spoken about in this clip.